Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing my second update for my hashtag drop 10 by summer project pan. If you missed the intro or the first update, I'll go ahead and throw the playlist right up there in the cards so you can follow along. So I started this at the end of March and now it is basically beginning of June, so I've been working on these products for two months. This is actually going to be a very exciting update because I have finished quite a few of these products and I've made a lot of progress with some of these products since my last update and some I haven't even touched. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like Project Pan updates and if you want to see any more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon down below so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So I rewatched my first update video. I'm going to try to go in the same order. The first product I talked about in the update was the fragrance that I picked. This is the Avon Haiku fragrance. Can I say fragrance? Fragrance. And it's totally gone. I used it up, have not bought it again. I enjoyed it while it lasted and I'm glad that I was finally able to finish it because if you saw my other videos you know that I have a problem with getting like a perfume down to here and then not wanting to use it anymore. But I was able to finish it up, I'm glad I was able to use it and now it's out of my collection. The next product that I actually finished was the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer and this is totally empty. I cut it open just to get the last little bit out and it's done. I was really happy to use this up. I actually really enjoyed this primer and because I like this luminizer primer so much it's pushed me to try other luminous primers. Uh, specifically the one from Physicians Formula like the Spotlight Primer I think it's called. I did buy that a couple of weeks ago and it's in my primer drawer to try out. Now that I've finished this one I'm gonna go ahead and start experimenting with some of the other primers that I have. But I did like having like a go-to good primer that I could use every day. So I do want to make this a normal thing where I'm panning like a, sp a specific primer. The next product I talked about that I still haven't even touched is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I know I said in my update I was going to try using this at night. Honestly I haven't touched it. I really don't know how else to use this. <laughs> I really don't. If you guys have any other idea other than using it as a primer how to use this because I really don't want to be a waste of $20. That was a lot of money for this little bottle. If you have any idea how to use the rose gold elixir, please let me know down below. I'm begging, begging, because if I don't find, like if I leave this untouched again till my next update, I'm going to just declutter it because there's literally no point. The next product I finished was the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation Sample. I really did like this sample, but I'm not in the position right now where I would go out and buy another Dior foundation. I actually just bought the Dior Air Flash foundation, and I'm liking that one. So if anything, I think I might just take a picture of the bottle so I remember like what shade it was and remind myself if I could ever get another sample of it or if I could try it out later down the road. This is definitely going to be on like my watch list because it was a really good sample and I really did enjoy it. The foundation I'm still struggling with, like a broken record, is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. The only thing I really like mixing this with is the Fenty foundation. And I'm almost out of the Fenty foundation, so once I use that up, don't know what else to do with this foundation. I made a mistake of trying to pan a foundation I really don't like. Because <laughs> I've like accidentally panned other foundations that I love, which that's what I should be doing. <laughs> Not trying to force myself to use a foundation that I have to like twist and work and tr do all this extra work just to make it work for me. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna go through this project, keep trying to make it work, <laughs> learn the hard way, don't pan products you don't like. If you can hear kids screaming outside, it's just my neighbors. They're really cute. There's like five kids that live down the street, but when they play, they play the whole block, so you'll you'll hear them. <laughs> so the next product that I've actually made a whole lot of progress on is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. My goal for this month was to hit pan on this, and I did. This is what my painterly looks like now. You can see the majority of the bottom of the pot. <laughs> I think I could definitely finish this by my next update. I've been using the paint pot daily just to prime my eyes and it finally, like when I finally hit the bottom of the pot, I was just like so excited. I was like, oh my God. But just think like these might be expensive, but they last a long time. I've had this for about a year and I just hit 
like pan on it and since I wasn't trying to hit pan like in one spot over and over again when I hit pan I actually hit like a decent amount of pan because I was wearing down like most of the product fairly evenly up until that point. So the goal for the next month, I really want to finish up the paint pot because I think after this, I'll have enough products to back to Mac for the first time. The next product that I actually finished, oh, another one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It is totally empty all the way down to the bottle. It won't click anymore. And actually, I didn't know it would stop clicking, but it stopped and I've taken all the concealer I can out of the sponge. I thought about cleaning it just to make it look all pretty for this update, but you know what? I finished it. This is how it looks. I'm excited. <laughs> I've never like finished up this many products like at once before. Like it's kind of like really exciting. <laughs> God, I'm such a dork. But I did love this concealer. It's a great spot concealer. I don't really recommend it for under your eyes, especially if you have fine lines because it tends to gather in those. But for spot concealing blemishes, like this is seriously the best. Not even like the best of the drugstore, just like one of the best spot concealers I've used. Since I have so many other great concealers, I will not be buying that again anytime soon, but I did really enjoy it. Alright, if I'm being really honest, I haven't touched these last two, or these next two products, like, at all. The first one is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter that I use as, like, a liner. And then the other one is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. I've actually not worn eyeliner in a long time, like in actual like waterline eyeliner. I've not touched liner, which I think I'm going to start using this more since I just got a new job and I have to wake up a little bit earlier and you know, do a little bit longer of a commute. I think I will be reaching for this more as like a um, waterline, a tight line, just so that I look a little bit more bright, a little bit more awake, especially with some nice neutral looks. But honestly, I've not even touched lip liners either. With this like, with the weather and with how I've been feeling. I've much been reaching more for liquid liners, not liquid liners, for liquid lipsticks instead of like traditional bullet lipsticks because I also don't want it to really transfer too much. I don't really want to have to worry about it throughout the day and with liquid lipsticks I don't really line. I just don't. So I, I kind of think it was also a mistake to try and pan lip products just knowing how I pick lip products is kind of how I pick like my eyeshadow primer, my eyeshadow for the day. I go based on the rest of my look about how I'm feeling, about where I'm going, about what I have to do, how long do I want it to last. There's just a lot of factors that can go into it and at the end of the day I've reached for both the Tom Ford lipstick in Indian Rose like once and then I've not even touch the liner. Even when I did wear this, I didn't touch the liner. So that's gonna be another one, another goal of mine since I have finished so many of the other products. I really need to focus on the ones that are giving me the most trouble. These three. I'm gonna work on these. These are also gonna be the hardest to finish because they're both pencils and you can sharpen these. So these can last like a long time. My goal isn't to finish this. I want to just use up as much of it as I can by the end of August, by the end of this project. So that is everything for this update this month. I was really excited to have finished all of these products. Ah, I'm gonna move them out of my collection and out of the little drawer that I keep the rest of my products in. I'm not gonna throw them out until the end of the project so I can actually have all the products together, but these will live in my empties drawer until the end of the project. And here's where I keep the rest of my products. I keep them in the bottom of my acrylic drawers right here in my vanity, so they're right within arm's reach. Thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this, you'll give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're doing this project pan too and how it's going for you because we're just about at the halfway mark. Just about. We're about to hit summer, so it's been two months. Well, we got about three months left, so we're all working on it. Doing great. Really excited. I was. It was great to finish so many products and to have them like all together. Just whew, really exciting. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.